Uh, hi, uh, today we will be uh, learning about uh, the complete uh, transmission system of an automobile. So on the screen you have an animation which shows uh, the layout of the complete transmission system of an automobile. So let's learn uh, the complete transmission system. Uh, this is uh, the chassis actually uh, with uh, the front axle and the rear axle. Um, so uh these are the two wheels the front uh, arch side and left side wheels and the rear uh, right hand side and left hand side wheels and uh, first we have the engine actually uh, which provides the power uh, or the required torque for the vehicle to move or uh, it is a prime mover which is a power source of the vehicle so that is known as a prime mover or the engine and uh, next uh, to the engine what we have is uh, uh, the flywheel so this is the power takeoff point uh, of the vehicle uh, engine power is being taken by uh, the vehicle from the flywheel so the flywheel will be rotating uh, at a rpm which is provided by the engine and the uh, power will be taken away from this flywheel uh, through the clutch that means for a manual transmission vehicle we will be having a clutch uh, which is connected towards a flywheel and uh, like for uh, automatic transmission vehicles we will be having continuously variable transmission system or like torque converters which will be linked uh, towards the flywheel which uh, take away the power from the engine uh, so next uh, we have the gearbox that means the transmission system uh, which consists of uh, gears for manual transmission vehicle and for automatic transmission vehicle it will be having just uh, high and low uh, gears uh, as per the design so this is the transmission of the gearbox it comes after the uh, clutch or uh, in automatic transmission vehicle like continuously variable transmission system or torque converter then after uh, the gearbox what we uh, have is actually the universal joint and the propeller shaft because th there is an angular uh, twist from the gearbox and the rear axle that means uh, the gearbox will be a little bit elevated uh, from the axis of the rear axle uh, so this uh, propeller shaft will be connected uh, from the gearbox towards the rear axle in a particular angle so to take this angle uh, or the vibration without uh, affecting this shaft we employ the universal joint so we have two universal joints over here and this is the propeller shaft uh, which is connected uh, towards the rear axle and uh, at the rear axle we have the differential so differential is actually taking the power uh, from the gearbox and uh, helping uh, the rear axle actually uh, to uh, manipulate or adjust the required uh, amount of torque to be supplied to the RH rear right hand side on the LS that is the left hand side wheels uh, so that the vehicle can have a smooth uh, mobility as per uh, the different gears we select or as per we are taking a turn or a curve so this uh, shows the complete layout of the transmission system of an automobile and the components are like the front axle over here you can see uh, this is the engine or the prime mover we have the flywheel after that then we have the clutch then uh, the transmission that is the gearbox coming in then one universal joint and the propeller shaft and another universal joint and finally the uh, rear axle which uh, the propeller shaft drive has been connected towards the uh, differential so i believe uh, you got an idea about uh, the complete transmission system of an automobile uh, for more technical or engineering videos you can visit either my blog that is www.techtricksinfo.com or uh, my youtube channel that is www.youtube.com oblique for video tutorials uh, thanks for watching this video